So, uh, guys, uh, you are able to see and uh, able to hear my voice, right? I'm audible to everyone. Is that clear? Yeah, I can hear and see you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, yesterday we were into a topic of uh, the implementation options. This is okay. So, in implementation options, we we came across the multiple uh, tabs in the application. So I can go there using one navigation. Later on, I can go with the shortcuts. Okay. So you can always note down the navigation from the navigator setup system implementation options. Okay. You can note it down for your reference. All right. So just kind of recall what we have done yesterday and little more, you know, topic uh, you know, set up uh, introduction I would like to give you. And in uh, next classes, um, uh, the dependent uh, uh, setups will be, or the, the more explanation will be covered when topic comes, okay? That way we can align, uh, you know, uh, with respect to the content. Okay, uh, any questions here in system tab, like uh, all the various options we set up here, okay? Some are defaulting from ledger, some are, you know, we manually set up, we have gone through the various options, and you just uh, summarization period type, uh, the doubts I, I I have here, I uh, can address when topic comes. There are two different periods, PA periods and GL periods. So I noted all the doubts so that uh, in next classes, these doubts will get clarified. Okay. And maintaining GL and PA periods, commonly maintaining, we are not going. So the business explicitly, they can go and uh, close each period in both GL and uh, PA and uh, PHGA, okay? And currency is a uh, normal. And project setup, how you want to generate the number of the project. It's, a, it's completely in our control. The way you set up here, it will generate. So I have gone with a uh, project manual with alpha numeric so method is uh, numbering method is a manual and uh, project number type is alpha numeric and uh, the hierarchy uh, the same hierarchy i would like to present in my project or task one in organization the staffing rule predominantly it is the setup behind the project resource management but the advertising rule is mandatory even in project management module like PJT. I can show you when PJT comes, I can show you uh, without this option, we may not in a position to set up a few basic, you know, project uh, management setups. And this is the way how a resource is going to be perform his ongoing job. And this is the topic finally where we landed here. So uh, expenditure cycle start day. Generally, when we implement the projects for Middle East countries, we can go ahead with my first day, cycle start day is always Sunday. And other than Middle East countries, if you want to implement, you can take it as Monday, okay? So if Monday is cycle start day, and the cycle ending day would always Sunday, okay? So this is a small logic uh, we need to understand here. Based on this setup, system will derive 
the week ending date when you submit when you give a, a expenditure item date when you enter an expenditure with an expenditure item date okay system automatically will derive two different dates the first date is pa date within the given expenditure item date it will check what is my open pa period within the open pa period which week uh, the expenditure has been entered it will identify and it will take it as a, a pa date and the second date system is deriving is the expenditure ending date expenditure ending date system will derive based on this setup which means how you are going to calculate your ending date ending date is a static one if i set up monday as my cycle start day sunday would be always cycle ending date assume an example i have entered an expenditure on 19th december okay and system is going to derive the pa date is also 19th because in this week my expenditure is entered so 19th december is the pa date and expenditure ending date is the start day you since you start day you set up as monday the ending date is always sunday so with with the given pa date in the same week where is my last day it will go and check for 24th as per this setup and it will derive a value of 24th december so just keeping this point i would like to you know focus more the ending dates derivation is a system derived on its own clear and enable negative approval transactions we can uh, if, if you want to reversals uh, or the negative approvals negative you can perform this and overwrite calculations uh, these options again we can overwrite at project level okay project level is the superset among all this we can go ahead and override even you you restrict you you enable or don't enable this option override calculation you can always override at project level okay that is what the project options we have so that at project options level uh, whatever you you wanted to override you can go ahead and override it and import contingent worker the contract employees uh, we are not using the integration because i would like to show you the direct integration of po and p okay so generally in real time what is going to happen when a contract employee a contingent worker have been uh, have been you know uh, working on a project so what what organization generally will do is organizations will issue a po to the vendor the vendor uh, and also the project code against which project does this contingent worker supposed to work so while entering the po details weekly time sheets what they do generally they go with the po number provided by the uh, organizations the vendor will take the po number along with the uh, po number contingent worker they will put the project also so that way system will identify the po number along with the project and the contingent workers and you can have the contingent workers uh, you know a rate if you maintain separately and accordingly the rate number of hours and the rate they calculate and they get the cost against the project generally this way the contingent worker uh, uh, will work that's a common scenario in generally uh, the service industries will will use uh, this kind of uh, integrations okay 
<coughs> and default supplier cost credit account i will explain when this uh, you know ap invoice integrations okay the credit account and debit account uh, we will discuss in later point of time and uh, this is a very important setup interface cost to the gl how in which scenario you wanted to control the application transfer to general ledger the cost okay so where exactly you wanted to uh, restrict the system in case the labor cost of uh, the employee if you don't want to transfer to the gl we are not supposed to go with this option this remains unchecked okay and uh, the second option interface contingent worker labor costs so i'm not going with this uh, contract employee integration with pivo so i'm not going to transfer any cost related to that so i'm not going with that and these are the different kind of uh, transactions within projects okay we name it as pre-approved batches that is uh, one more term within projects just uh, hope up with me what is pre-approved batches will will see soon so this is a kind of an expenditure interface a usage is a kind of you know transaction will do it in the projects and inventory costs work in progress miscellaneous and burden costs okay all these costs if you want to transfer to the gl from project subledger you can go ahead with this option certainly we are working all these integrations and within the projects